Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Game Pass, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tip this Game Pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Before We Leave. Humanity has emerged from a vault to find the world void of life after maybe nuclear war or something. No, this isn't a Fallout game, this is a city builder in the vein of Anno, with 90% more hexagons and probably less giant rad roaches. Before We Leave is an Xbox and PC cross release that features both cross chivos and cross save. It is upgraded for Series S and X for better frame rates, and the game will last you about 10 to 15 hours for the first time through. So what exactly is Before We Leave? Well, it's a real-time city-slash-civ building game where the primary goal is to build up large cities, explore the world, and research technologies to build a rocket to get off this blighted Earth and then go do it again on another planet. The primary gameplay loop is resource management, with workers-slash-people being one of those resources. The world is laid out in a bunch of hexagonal grids like Settlers of Catan or Civ 6, and you'll need to chop down forests, build roads, and create homes in order to raise your population. The overall loop is fairly simple, with you exploring the world to gain resources to unlock a ton of technologies, and using that to slowly bump up the resources you can acquire, letting you build more advanced buildings, eventually getting boats to find new areas with more unique resources, you eventually go to space with more planets and more unique resources, and so on. New areas do provide a new challenge, where you have to often move resources from your main city to other settlements, if they say live in a desert where there's almost no food, or they need materials to make clothes to brave the heat. The game quickly becomes a lot around resource management and trade between settlements, which is where the Anno comparison comes in, because those games have a lot of that. All resources are infinite except resources for tech, so you don't run the risk of running out. Your main issue will be finding space to min-max your industrial empire, as well as trying to not over-pollute and making your workers sad. Overall, this is a fairly lightweight resource management city civ builder with a cute art style and a slow burn into its more complicated features. So what do I like about Before We Leave? Well, it's a simple, fairly chill city builder game in a genre well known to be overly complex or dense to enter. Additionally, I enjoyed the game's cute graphical style with the 3D hexagons littering the map and hexagonal clouds in the sky, it made it feel like you're interacting with a big board game, which I appreciated. And lastly, the game is pretty good to just sit down and burn an hour or two slowly working towards an objective without wanting an overly stressful time. When it comes to the bad, while well, it plays okay on controller early on, once you start having multiple colonies and planets, it really gets too unwieldy for that controller. I actually ended up switching to PC because managing all of my trade routes and stuff just got so obnoxious. This is hurt further by the game's UI and information, which honestly I feel like it's not well polished and it presents the game as way more complex than it actually is or needs to be. You got grass, meters, tons of UI elements everywhere, insane stuff to build and manage and so many resources, but honestly, it doesn't need all of that and could probably be stripped down to some more basic interactions that are more useful to the player. And lastly, I really don't think this game has a ton of replay value. After finishing the original two planets, I wasn't particularly compelled to continue as each planet is just the same thing over and over until eventually you win the game. The repetition additionally gets frustrating because eventually it's just new resources to deal with and and that's it. As you know, I write games here on a three-point scale. Must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. This is absolutely a maybe consider. Before Relief does an admirable job trying to simplify the civilization slash trading empire building genre, but it gets a little too indulgent in embracing that genre's faults at the end. While it's certainly a charming and enjoyable time for the first several hours, I found myself falling off of it pretty quickly after the repetition kicks in. Although, despite that, I still pop in occasionally for a brief 30 to 45 minute gameplay bout, even after I wrote this review. So I do think that if you take it in small doses and enjoy these kinds of Civ builders, it's still worth checking out. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and go out there and enjoy before we leave.